Howdy ho stampers! Today we're going to make a little Halloween card and it is being done with one of our a la carte stamps from the mini catalog. It's called Frightening Feline. It's an adorable little stamp set and I love kitties so we're going to do Frightening Fe Feline and this is the card that we're going to do. We started our card off with our base. The base card is uh, five and a half by eight and a half and my basic gray piece is five and a quarter by four and I just adhered those two together. The next thing I did was I took my piece of designer series paper for this this part right here. Okay, I took my designer series paper, and that is one and three quarters by four and three quarters, and I added um, my ribbon to it. So I took a striped piece of ribbon about three inches wide, and I added it here to the bottom, and then I took about a four inch piece. Well, we'll do that in just a moment. Then what I did was I took my I, I ended up taking my um, basic black piece, and that is two by five, and I needed to put pop dots on it, so I put pop dots on there, and I'm just gonna pop that on there, like this, okay? And then I'm gonna add my designer series paper piece. Now the reason I, I did that that way is because Let's just put my silicone sheet down here so nothing sticks. Um, the reason I did it that way before um, adding my bow is because now I have some stability here. So when I tie this bow, if I was just to tie it normal, it would end up with one of the stripes being upside down. So what you want to do is you want to turn this before you pull. If you turn before you pull, they're both going to come up the same way, the right way. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just trim those off with my fabric scissors and we've got the right side done. Now the next thing that I did was I stamped my little feline onto my uh, vanilla cardstock and I did it with a uh, Versamark and my black embossing powder. Here's my black embossing powder and here's my Versamark pad. I stamped it with those and then I um, and then I, I embossed it with our new embossing gum, gun. We have um, our new embossing gun that has two speeds. It has cruise control and it has um, high power. And the cruise control you want to use for your vellums and anything that you don't want to wrinkle. Um, but it really works very, very well. So with that, um, I finished my little cat and then I cut him out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to put pop dots onto him. And I want to put one on his head, a couple on his body, and I left his tail with uh, quite a bit of uh, paper so that my little pop dot would fit on there. If you're having trouble getting rid of, or getting your pop dot covers to come off, just press your finger in the middle with your fingernail, and it makes the edges pop up, and then they're easier to take off. Okay, all right. So there's that little guy right there. And we're just going to add him, and I'm going to fluff up his whiskers, fluff up his whiskers so he looks a little bit 3D. Okay, so now we're, we're well on our way. The next thing I did was I took my 1 and 3 8 inch square punch, and I punched out three squares um, of basic black. So I'm going to, I always start at the bottom. Let's put a little bit more snail right there. Okay, I start at the bottom. And then I put my top piece on, and I try to get those two about the same distance apart, okay? And then I center my middle one, okay? So this is the one and three eighth inch, one and three eighth inch square punch, okay? The next thing that I did was I took my feline cat and I stamped them three times with Versamark. I put my black embossing powder on, and then what I did was um, I punched them out, and I punched them out with my um, scallop. Uh, postage stamp punch. Okay, it's got the scallops on there, but it's called the postage stamp punch. And what I did was I just punched them every which way. So you don't want to punch them the same way. And he's a little peeking out. So what I did was I just kind of punched him one this way. The next one would be another way. So that when I did this, I had three different um, little peekaboo cats. Okay, so here's another one. Okay, let's put him, and when you're putting them on the paper, you can put them different ways also, you know, so if I don't like it this way, I can do it this way, but I like this one this way. Okay, so here's our peekaboo cats. Now to finish off our card, I took my 1 8 inch taffeta ribbon, 
and I just tied four little knots in there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fabric scissors and I'm going to just cut off my little my little bows and you don't want big ends on them okay the reason I do it this way is because if I'm headed out the door and I need um, a bunch of bows I'll do them ahead of time this little guy okay so then what I did was I took my um, my mini glue dots and I just rolled them okay so there was just a little bit of um, glue okay if you roll them like this they're not going to stick out and your card isn't going to stick to your envelope when you put it in there and here's my other one and we just want these on the the, uh, the little neck of the cat okay and they are sticky Alrighty, and then the bigger bow is going to go on this guy right here because we have a full size cat. And then this one is going to go right there. And this one is going to go right there. And this one is going to go right there. And there you have our awesome little feline cat card. Hope you enjoyed my post. Take okay. care. So today, because we used our high powered heat tool, I needed to show you something else that I do. This is just Deb's tip number 115, okay? So I have my high-powered heat gun tool. It has your cruise control and it has your high-powered. So if you're working in your stamp room and you need to do a lot of work, one of the things I like to do is to melt my cheese on the high-powered. The reason I do that is because I absolutely, absolutely hate raw cheese, meaning cheese that's not cooked. So if you don't want to take the time to throw it in your microwave or make a panini out of it, all you have to do is get your high-powered heat tool up and running, and it melts your cheese right onto your sandwich, and you are good to go.